Hey guys, and welcome back to Professor Layton and the Curious Village. Let's pick up right where we left off. Which I believe was searching for a lost kitty. The Professor and Luke make their way successfully to Reinhold Manor, where they meet Lady Dahlia. But before they can start talking, a loud noise startles Lady Dahlia's cat, Claudia, who runs off. The Professor and Luke are now forced to find the missing feline. Okay. Appears to be a clock tower. I probably got all the hint coins from this scene already, but it can't hurt to check. Aha, fluffy, check. Purple bow, check. Sullen expression, check. No doubt about it, that's Claudia. Good eye, Luke. Now that we've located her, the question at hand is how to go about catching her. Leave this one to me, Professor. Ah, yes, I'd forgotten that you have a way with animals. Well, go right ahead then. Here, Claudia. Here, girl. Well... E... Luke, are you alright? Sorry I wasn't much help, Professor. She's far feistier than I imagined. What are you good for? I'm still looking for the blasted crank, but I'm seeing too much red to get anything done. Oomph. What kind of punk pulls a prank like this, anyhow? Alright, before we go any further... I found the puzzle that I was missing. I have to tap on the flowers, I think. There we go. Okay. Wow, look at these flowers. They sure are pretty. Indeed they are. I'm sure someone put a lot of work into raising them. Oh, that reminds me. Would you like to hear a puzzle about raising flowers? You bet, Professor. Let's hear it. Puzzle number eight, worth 20 picarats. Alfred and Roland have been hired by a farm to sow flower seeds. They've been assigned a 10 acre plot of land and split it in half, so they can work independently. Roland starts from the east and Alfred from the west. Alfred can plow the land at a rate of 20 minutes per acre. Roland takes 40 minutes to plow, but sows seeds at three times the speed Alfred does. If sowing seeds on the 10 acre plot pays $100, how much of that money should go to Roland? Sounds very difficult. Sowing seeds on the 10 acre plot pays $100. How much of that money should go to Roland? Let's say... But aren't they doing half each? It's going to be $50 because they're doing half each, right? Please be $50 because I, I can't do math right now. Yay, trick question. Nice try. 20 big rats in my pocket. Big rats in my pocket. Big rats in my pocket. Each person did all the work on half the field, so the pay should be split in half too. In other words, they both had the same amount of work assigned to them. It just took them longer. Correct. Good thinking, Luke. I think we're all caught up on puzzles now. What 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Right, we're missing a few there. Hmm. I did this guy's puzzle, didn't I? Fancy meeting you here again. Did you find the fluffy menace yet? No, I didn't think so. Just talk to this tall man. Yawn. <laughs> yeah, I saw that cat. She almost scratched out your eye. Help catch her, you say? Thanks, but no thanks. I like living. Did you see that ferocious beast? I'm not going anywhere near her. Could you at least tell us in which direction she ran off? I saw that killer scurry off westward. She had fangs the size of daggers. Bit of an exaggeration there, sir, don't you think? Town Hall. Okay. It's just forms and pens as far as the eye can see. Blech. Gorgeous chandelier, but it's all tarnished. There's a bed here. Is he living in the town hall? I'm looking for hint coins. Doesn't appear to be any. This is the town hall. What business do you have here? If you just move to town, I strongly advise that you fill out a change of address form. Oh no, we aren't here for anything like that. Regardless, all town hall visitors must complete the proper forms. You can start with this one. Puzzle number 16, triangles and ink. Please no more math. Here are two shapes, one large and one small. Each is made up of little triangles. Dipping your fountain pen into ink one time gives you just enough ink to draw four little triangles as depicted by the shape on the left. So with that in mind, how many times do you have to dip your pen in the ink in order to draw the shape on the right that's made up of 36 triangles? Okay, so if we dip it once, we get one, two, three, bam, bam, that's one. Okay, so basically we get, if we get rid of that, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can draw nine lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That doesn't make sense, I'm supposed to be counting. Right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. So, 63 divided by 9 is what? 7? 9 times 7, 63. 8 times. 3, 72, 81, 90. Right, so then 7. Pip. Cool. That's the 
that's correct. Your first impulse might be to have divided the 36 triangles by 4, but a closer look shows that each 4 triangle cluster is actually formed from 3 triangles. When you apply this way of thinking to the larger shape, you end up with the answer pictured above. Or you can just be lazy and count it like I did. Nicely done. As you might have noticed, everyone in this town is simply crazy about puzzles. I strongly advise that you solve as many puzzles as you can. Oh, and while I'm at it, I strongly advise that you drop in on Granny Riddleton next door. She is a veritable treasure trove of puzzle-related informalia. Just be aware that she's not always home. You found a strange gizmo. And puzzle 16 is now in our index. So I don't think there's any uh, hint coins in there. Find Claudia, she went westward, didn't he say? So let's head that way. Oh, I almost forgot. We ought to visit the local inn and see if we can't procure some rooms for the night. Sounds good to me, Professor. I was certain I saw an inn near the entrance to the village, just south of the plaza we're in. Let's head over right now and see if we can't set up some lodging. Now's not the time, Layton. We're looking for a cat. <sighs> Did we get all the hint coins here? Kinda looks like it. This is the problem with uh, playing so far apart. <laughs> so how go things? Learning the ins and outs of St. Mysterio, are ya? Yep, solving puzzles is the only way to get by here. That's what the villagers value most. So, how about a puzzle right now? A little practice will keep you from embarrassing yourselves in front of others later. As a die-hard nonconformist myself, I'm a sucker for any puzzle where you need to find the odd man out. Die hard nonconformist. Puzzle 17, five card shuffle with 30 big rats. Three of the four images shown below are the exact same picture rotated in a variety of ways. Can you find the odd one out? Okay. Wait, if I tap on it, is that going to submit it? Because I don't want to do that, I want to draw. Nope, okay. This is going to be hard then. Alright, so in A, oh, I've already found it's D. The um, spade in the middle was facing a different way than the club. Whereas in all the other ones are facing the same direction. This puzzle is fairly straightforward, but catching the subtle difference in the picture can take a while. <laughs> you certainly showed that puzzle who was boss, didn't you? Seems a train and I've been giving you was paid off. Feel free to thank me in any way you see fit. Well, be seeing you around. Found a painting scrap. Thank you, strange man. Let's head into the inn. Hint coins. E, there's one. There's another one. Whoops, I was going for the uh, lamp behind her. 
Oh, hello there. Welcome to the inn at St. Mysteria. We're the only inn in town, you know. You see, visitors to our little village are quite rare. Ah, uh, good day, madam. We seek lodging for the night. Do you have any open rooms we can rent? Oh, my stars, what terrible timing. We're currently remodeling all of our guest rooms. The only rooms left are in the attic. But if you don't mind that, I'll make sure you're very comfortable. I do hope you'll stay with us. It's been a while since a fine gentleman such as yourself stayed with us. The rooms are... not very big, but I'll make sure they sparkle. Can you come back in a bit? Oh, and I'll do my best to get two normal rooms ready for you as soon as possible. Oh, thank you, but you needn't trouble yourself on my behalf. As long as I have a bed to sleep in, I'm satisfied. Ah, yes, about that. Oh, what terrible luck, you see. All the beds are out being refinished. But don't worry, Mama Beatrice is going to take good care of you two. I'll even drop the nightly rate. The inn option has been added to the trunk. The inn is a puzzle in which you arrange items in Luke's and the professor's rooms. To access it, touch the trunk icon, then touch the inn icon. When you obtain a new item for Luke and the professor, you'll be asked where you want to put it. You can always rearrange your items, so don't worry too much about where you first put an item. If one of your rooms is too full to take on new items, the item will go to the room with available space. Here's something to make the place feel a bit more like home. A liqueured stool. Where will it go? Layton, I guess. I don't remember this part of the game. I obviously never got this far in the first one. Thank you. Puzzle. Look, a hidden puzzle. Good intro. Puzzle 112 worth 50 picrets. That sounds hard. Called My Beloved. A work from a famous artist was recently discovered. The painting is a self-portrait of the painter in his later years and is entitled My Beloved. Assuming the artist wasn't a huge narcissist and referring to himself, his beloved should appear in the painting somewhere. Can you find his beloved? Move the different sections of the picture around with your stylus. Okay. Touch the arrow icons to rotate picture sections. When you fold the answer, tap submit. Okay, sounds quite difficult. Oh, it's going to take forever. Well, this kind of has to be an eye, doesn't it? Sweet. Now it's upside down. It's exactly what I wanted. Wait. What if it's in the shadows. one looks the most like a face. Oh, that looks like a hat to me. Yep, there we go. Does that look right? The head's right, I'm pretty sure. Nice 
has had. Mm -hmm. I don't think it goes this way, does it? No, that looks weird. Okay, put that back. Sweet, got it. 50 pigments. Excellent. That's right. The silhouette of the artist's true love was hidden in his painting. The painting must have been a tribute to his love for her, or for himself. Easy peasy. Now let's go find some more puzzles. That was a cool one. I like that. Okay. Can't go through there, I'm assuming. Alrighty. We'd better get back to searching for Claudia, Professor. Uh, where are we going? North. And west. Mist. I wonder what that sign is for. Probably to tell you what uh, kind of building that is. I dare say. Oh, look, Professor, I found a hidden puzzle. I was looking for hidden coins. This puzzle is worth 40 picarets. One of the four shapes below has one less match than the rest of them. While studying these four small shapes, your friend approaches you with a riddle. I'm thinking of something that is necessary for human life. It appears in just about every house you've ever visited decreases in amount gradually the longer it is around. What am I thinking of? Move one match in the picture to form your answer to your friend's puzzle. Necessary for human life. It appears in just about every house you've ever visited. Decreases in amount gradually the longer it is around. Appears in just about every house you've ever visited. Food. Right. Sweet. I am on a roll. Forty pigrets. That's right, the answer is food. Make sure you visit the grocery store before you run out of snacks. I actually do need to do that. I wish all puzzles were this easy. I'm sorry to trouble you, madam, but have you seen a white cat run by? A white cat? Oh yes, it ran over that way to haunt a park. May I ask, what are you planning on doing with it once you find it? We are going to take it back to Lady Dahlia. It's her cat, and she's asked us to bring it back to her. <laughs> and you're going to try and catch that cat barehanded? Oh, good heavens. That's a bit naive, don't you think? Listen here, cats love treats, so try luring it over with some food. What do you suggest? I've got some old fish bones around here that I'm sure the little thing would go wild over. I'd be happy to give them to you if you solve this puzzle for me. Sounds like a bit of extortion to me. Pig pen partitions, puzzle 22 with 30 pig rats. Seven prize-winning pigs are lazing about in a pen. To make sure that the pigs don't fight with each other, you've decided to section off the pen with three ropes. Can you hitch the ropes up to some of the posts shown below and separate each pig from its neighbour? Remember, 
Not even a snout or curly tail can sneak over each partition. Drag the stylus from one point to another to draw a line. When you finish sectioning off all the pig's taps of mint. Three ropes. Okay. So it's going to be like... And what there? Bag. No, these two are still together. And that pig's hair is in the way. Okay, three ropes. I feel like this one in the middle here is the biggest pain in the butt. So if we find somewhere that that one's tail doesn't That's not going to work. This fat one in the middle here, honestly. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure it has to be that one. That works, doesn't it? No. These two are still together. Where was that? That looks okay to me. Surely we won't count this one's ear up in the top right corner. That's barely going over anything. Excellent. Good job. You've made a lot of pigs very happy. I must say, I'm very impressed. Here you go then, some fish bones as I promised. Good luck with that cat. Got some fish bones. Gross. Appears to be a park back there. It's not what I'm after right now, guys. Alright, this guy looks like he's in pain or something. Oh, I have just had it this time. I think I'm going to explode. Like a water balloon filled with rage. Wouldn't that make it a rage balloon? What's that? Why am I angry, you ask? Why am I angry? Lend me an ear, will you, guy? There are these three bozos in town and we just can't stand each other. It's so bad that none of us want to see each other's ugly mugs, but St. Misty ain't a big place, right? Sometimes we cross paths on the way to work, and just like that, bam, time for a screaming match. I sure do wish we could find a way to keep from bumping into each other in the mornings. Hang on now, you look like you got a good head on your shoulders. Do a guy a favour and help me with this. Puzzle number 20, Unfriendly Neighbours, with 50 figurettes. Draw a path between one man's home and his work by connecting matching blocks. The catch is that these men can't stand each other, so you have to make sure that none of the paths touch. To make a path, all you need to do is tap a block and start drawing. Tap a block and start drawing. Oh. Alright, that's going to be a fair bit of trial and error. 
when I say the problem already. Interesting, okay. Okay, what if we go? So it's hard, I feel like. A and C are going to take some real weird snaky routes. Instead of the uh, things I have for them at the moment. Use a hint coin. You might think that this puzzle is impossible, but rest assured it's not. The first thing you should try to do is connect any pair of blocks. That'll limit where your next path can go. B's route is shortest. Try enough times and you're sure to figure it out. B's route is shortest. Alright. So what if we just go bang like that? route is shortest. I don't feel like that helps at all if I go straight down or sideways. The path between the B blocks is a straight line. D goes around to the north. Alright, that should be enough. Straight line. D goes around to the north. So how does A get out then? That doesn't make sense. Unless D goes no. D goes around to the north.
as stated earlier, connected connect to the pair of B blocks with a straight line. Alright, if you're making me use a hint coin, you should just give me another hint. So you should just give me the same hint. Then connect the D blocks by drawing a path that arcs up over the B block path. A goes south, then east. Right, straight line, arc that goes up and over the B block. South, then east. Yep, how's that work? South, then east. three hint coins. That's right, now those guys don't even have to look at each other. Good job. Oh, thanks a million guy. I can finally get to work without boring my stack. I really mean it, Pally. You're a lot smarter than you look. Oh yeah, let me clue you in. See that big old mess of a tower beyond the town square? Take a tip from me. If you know what's good for you, you'll stay away from that thing. Well, right then. I'm off. Thanks again, buddy. Found a strange gizmo. He didn't even leave. Oh, this time I'm just livid. It's just too much to take. The needle on my wrath meter is completely buried. Why am I so worked up, you ask? It's this blasted puzzle. I've been trying to work it out since yesterday. I just can't get it, and it has me so steamed I can't sleep. You stupid jerk of a puzzle. Come here and take a look, will you? Puzzle number 21, a pill prescription. A man has been prescribed ten pills. Starting today, he must take one pill a day, but because the concentration of the medicine is different in each pill, he must take them in a specific order. Since the pills all look the same, the man has decided to write numbers on each pill to help him remember the order he needs to take them in. How many pills does he have to number if he wants to keep track of the order? Starting today, he must take one pill a day. Surely he knows. So he's taken today's pill. So one, two, so eight, maybe. Takes today's and awesome. Leaves the last one unmarked. Good job. Since the man has to start taking his medicine today, the first thing he should do is take today's pill. Next, he should label the pills for days two through nine. If he does this, he shouldn't have to label the pill for the last day. It'll be the only one without a label. He only needs to label eight pills. Excellent. What were you thinking, man? And here I was ready to solve it all by myself. Why'd you have to go and ruin everything? The nerve. But with that puzzle solved, I can finally sleep again, so I guess I owe you guys one. Thanks. I know you both have your work cut out for you, so good luck, yeah? Another gizmo from this man. And he's still there. Surely he doesn't have another one. So just what is that golden apple anyway? The name can make a guy hungry. Which can make a guy mad. Tee hee hee. 
That guy gets so worked up that he turns red like a tomato. He looks so dumb. Bit rude. Where'd the cat go? There's the kitty. Ah, oh, dang it. Hit coins, man. That filthy jar reminds me of a puzzle I once heard. Number 26, a bottle full of germs. A glass jar holds a single germ. After one minute, the germ splits into two germs. One minute after that, the two germs each split again, forming a total of four germs. Continuing at this rate, a single germ can multiply to fill the whole jar in exactly one hour. Knowing this, how long in minutes would it take to fill the jar if you had started with two germs? 59 minutes. Right? Because it's just starting one step ahead. Wait, after one minute, yeah. 59 minutes. Because it's still doing the same thing, it just skips that first split. Brilliant. Can't fool me today, Leighton. The answer is 59 minutes. It takes one minute for a single germ to split into two. Therefore, starting with two germs instead of only one saves you one minute. <laughs> You're spot on. Excellent job. This jar is actually kind of neat. Why don't we take it with us? But, my boy, it's covered in grime. Hmm? What's this? Something's hidden inside the jar. I think you're right. Luke, reach a hand in and see what's inside, will you? Dangerous. I found a painting scrap. Excuse me while I look for some coins. Reinhold Park, open 10 a.m., shut 5 p.m. Professor, there she is. Quickly then, use the fish bones. Here, Claudia, come here, girl. Meow. Meow. We've done it, Professor, here she comes. Excellent. Now we can head back to Reinhold Manor. Meow. The Fugitive Fear Line, Chapter Solved. Having successfully caught Claudia, Professor Layton and Luke decide to head back to Reinhold Manor. Are you becoming accustomed to moving around and investigating St. Mystia? Here's some advice to keep your investigation running smoothly. Some puzzles will disappear from their location in town as the story progresses. But there's no need to worry. Most of the unsolved puzzles are sent to Granny Riddleton's shack in the village square. Visit often to track down puzzles you passed up and work toward completing every puzzle in the game. That's good, because now I don't have to worry about missing them. So I missed one in that chapter, it looks like. Something doesn't seem quite right, Professor. P -p -p Professor, oh, it's simply awful. Come quickly, please. What's the matter, Matthew? If you're worried about the cat, we've brought her back safe and sound. Oh, well, Madam will be very happy to hear that. But this is no time to worry about a cat. Just hurry upstairs. Right this way, please. So you're the famous Professor Layton, then. The name's Chelmy. Inspector Chelmy. I'm the inspector on this case. Well, I'd hardly call it a case. If this is about Claudia, we've brought her back safe and sound. 
Oh, Claudia, my baby. Mama missed you so much. Yeah. What's this cat doing here? Why on earth would you bring an animal into a crime scene? Have some sense. We were out when this crime took place and don't know what's going on. Could you please fill us in? There's been a murder, Professor. A man was killed here. What? Who was murdered? The victim was a resident of this address. One Simon Reinhold. Simon was... Approximately two hours ago, I received a report that a man had collapsed at Reinhold Manor. Upon arrival at the scene, it was apparent to me that Simon was already dead. I see, and the cause of death. I'm currently conducting an investigation to look into it. I'll just let you know right now, Mr. Layton, I'm looking at you as a potential suspect as well. The rest of the details concerning this investigation are classified. Speaking of the details, who placed the call to the authorities? Are your ears clogged? You deaf? Didn't I just tell you those details are classified? Hmm? Alright everyone, I'll be taking statements from each of you in the other room. Come in one by one. And let me make this clear. Under no circumstances is anyone to leave until I've talked to everyone. Before we get too in deep with our murder investigation, I think we might save and call it a day there. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me for this episode of Professor Layton and the Curious Village. And I hope to see you guys next time.